hi everyone welcome uh, to the next lesson of our course which is uh, the 100 english words you must know so this is the course that we are going on with and we have now done words till a to l and today we are going to continue with the words that start with l to n and i hope you li liking the lessons this course is presented by me, Harshita Jain. I am pursuing my graduation from Delhi University. My interests include writing, dancing and photography. If you like my courses on Unacademy, please uh, do follow me on Unacademy. This is my profile link. And if you like this course, do rate and review this course. And if you like this lesson, please do recommend it. Here is the recommend option. And any kind of suggestion or uh, course idea, if you whatever course you want to have on the platform for the next time please do let me know as well so let's just continue uh, with the words for today the first thing that i want to clear is that the more you make sentences in practice is the key to better vocabulary so don't just watch the lessons do form sentences to use these words in your conversation to better memorize them the word that we have is lurid which is an adjective which means sensational something that is sensational so the sentence that we have is according to it barry's story in which he described a character torturing his neighbor's tortoise was judged too lurid to be published on the english library's website so it was too sensational that it could not be published on the website so it's very easily used so whenever you want to say something for the next time which is sensational you can just say you're it the next word is a maxim which is a noun which means a common saying expressing a principle of conduct we do use it or we, uh, the law students might might uh, sorry i must have heard it so miss stone's etiquette maxims are both entertaining and instructional so the etiquette principles that she follows the code of conduct that she carries herself with are both entertaining and instructional so it tells you a lot about her it tells, gives you a lot of instructions and also entertainment because it looks nice the next word that we have is meticulous which is an adjective which means something or somebody who is very careful with the details very scrutinizing and somebody who watches every detail very uh, carefully the ornate needlework in the bride's ground gown was a product of meticulous handiwork so the work done was very careful it was done with a lot of care and that is why we are referring it as meticulous the next word that we have is modicum which is a noun which means a small amount of something refusing to display even a modicum of sensitivity which means a small amount of sensitivity magda announced her boss's affair to the entire office so she did not show even a little amount of sensitivity the next word is morose which is an adjective again and which means gloomy or sullen so gloomy uh, is again sad though david's morose nature made him very unpleasant to talk too. so it made him very very gloomy to talk to okay so this is how we use this word moros the next word we have is a myriad myriad is uh, an adjective which uh, means consisting of a very great number it was difficult to decide what to do on saturday night because the city presented us with the myriad possibilities for fun so a men a huge number of possibilities for fun was shown by the city presented by the city so it was very difficult to decide so whenever you want to say that there is a lot of possibilities for me to have success in life so you can say there are myriad of possibilities the 
next word we have is uh, nominal nominal means something that is trifling something that is insignificant something that is not really significant so you can use uh, it as this because he was moving the following week and needed to get rid of furniture more than he needed money kim sold everything for a nominal price right so kim sold everything for a for an insignificant price because she needed to get rid of her furniture the next word we have is a novice again this is a very very commonly used word you must have heard it a beginner someone without training or experience so whenever you are a beginner so i am a novice at dance i am a novice at music now you now you might realize that you have heard it before because we were all novices at archery our instructor decided to begin with the basics because we were all beginners he decided to instruct with the us with the basics first the next word is nuances now nuances uh, is an adjective which means a slight variation in meaning and tone the nuances of the poem were not obvious to the casual reader but the teacher was able to point them out okay so the nuance means the there's a very very slight very very small difference in meaning tone and expression so the nuances of the poem were really not obvious were really tough to be determined so the teacher was able to point them out okay so these are the words for today and if you like this course please do review and if you have some sort of questions please do ask me in the comment section or at an academy by this thanks for